M0FXB iRadio UV88. We've got the Radtel firmware 1.05a. Here it is here. To download it, you just need to go to the Radtel site. Let's move that out of the way. Scroll to the very bottom and you'll see that there's the firmware. Double, you know, click it. And there's, there's software there as well. And then the zip will open. And of course, it wants the password, which I have been told is 25. Uh, eight eight and I'll put it in the de description zero one 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 and then okay and then you get this double click and there is an upgrade document as well but we're going to go straight into it and do the firmware just for fun so double click the XE go more info and run anyway now as you know I've made a cable um, so if you haven't got yours yet I have ordered one as well and so once we've got that we're going to show you the radio cables connected then we need to go right click device manager so we'll do just here on the windows just go right click device manager uh, move my radio out of the way uh, so we can see the port uh, go down to ports, double click ports, and it's COM11, COM11, so remember that. Uh, I'll just move you back, and then so on the software, we just go COM11, like so, and connect the data cable and select the port. Press and hold the PTT and turn on the radio, so we'll turn it off. Which PTT? <laughs> We have three, but anyway, we did the top one. Screen looks like that. I uh, can't think of anything else. Click update. Now remember, mine is iRadio, um, not Radtel, but you can see that it's going in. Now, if yours has the um, the GPS module and the APRS module installed, because the board is there, but the module may not be. And I know a lot of us are kicking ourselves going, we should have waited for the GPS model, but hey, don't worry. I'm gonna keep, I've got my iRadio one and it is a plus model, so you never know, it might be in there. And then I'm gonna get the Radtel GPS one. And thank you to Radtel for doing the software. And don't worry because I am using your software, but I will be buying your radio. So anyway, boots up as normal. And we should have a couple of extra and we will we will look at the you know the 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 change so it says fix the bug that might cause the device to freeze okay fair enough added the function by pressing and holding the down key during startup enter the full band debugging mode I don't really know what that is in the full band debugging mode there is no need to enter the menu to switch frequency bands and you can freely switch among all frequency bands in the full band. Ah, the multi-frequency monitoring and cross-band relay functions are disabled. Okay, well, let's try it. So we'll turn it off. We'll press the down arrow and turn on. Full band mode. Now, does it mean that we can now, you know, because let's put in um, CB band on the top one. So the o. Oh, wait well, on a minute, we're in... Um, we need to get into VFO while pressing the hash. So now we're going to go 027. Oh, sorry, it vanished then. Why is my phone glitching out just when I don't want it to? Right, sorry about that. I was just glitching out. So anyway, 27, then we'll go 555. Five, five. Yeah, we're in there. And they're on the, look, on the B band. Um, we're on 70 SEMs and on the, yeah, so that's good. Um, will it let me go into radio mode? Looks like it does. So that's good. So they've basically done it so you don't have to um, select your range anymore. And I, I think that's really good. There's HF. So yeah, well done, Radtel. Like that a lot. Okay, they've adjusted the brightness levels, fair enough. Added the function, pressing and holding the zero key during start will turn off the APO automatic sleep function. Okay, that's it. Okay, and I think that's a big one. Um, change the spectrum operation and function in the spectrum mode 
long press the hash key to switch between the monitoring mode and scanning mode. So that means that basically if we go on the top one for, let's go to the top one, see? Four, three, four. I think that means we are going to be able to listen to what we're hearing. So I'm going to, pretty sure I got the scope there. So I've set a preset for my scope. And then if we press the hash, can we hear? Let's get some activity. We can. Just using my hubnet monitor there for that. I know it's a bit bright, but uh, that's cool, isn't it? So we can we can hear. I'll do more videos on that as well. Okay, interesting. Looking up that static, but I want to play with it for a while before I do that. So we'll back out of that for now. That's another plus. So we can hear the spectrum um, when it's not muted anymore. Okay. Um, and then it says here between monitoring mode and the scanning mode. In monitoring mode, you can monitor the audio of the signal. And in scanning mode, it is only used to observe the, spu the signal spurious. Hmm. Uh, change the spectrum operating function in the spectrum mode. Long press the hash key to switch to. Uh, yeah, we've already done that. In monitoring mode, long press the menu key to block the current interfering signal and up to 20 interfering signals. Long press the menu key. Okay, let's long press. I'm not sure what that. I have to play with that. Right now it's saying please use full debugging mode with caution and pay attention to matching the antenna and the current frequency. Okay. And then it says here the following molecules are operational functions in the Radtel RT880G, which means the GPRS ones. So added on off menu for transmit noise reduction, added the GPS settings menu, added functions such as database measurement and positioning, track recording, track query, added APRS. So menu uh let's see if we can find it because it might still be in there the menu uh basic settings where's it where would it put it because mine isn't obviously gprs so gprs is the new one isn't it? a lot here isn't it Yeah, so I, I'm not really seeing anything that says GP, APRS yet. Well, ah, extended. Aha, uh -huh. it's an extended menu. I'm going to turn it on. It has appeared. I might get lucky. I might have it in here. <laughs> Uh, APRS, let's turn it on anyway. I did buy the plus model. The nice thing is that an APRS symbol has appeared. And I think we'll leave it as that for now. Let me have a play. It's not quite in focus here today. And, um, but yes, we you've seen the update process and um, we'll get it right near my strong GPS signal and then we'll take it from there. But yeah, menu extended. extended, yeah. Coordinate type, distance, unit, altitude, fixed, fixed altitude, mileage. What's all this? There's a lot. Denoise, PC monitor, I don't even know what that is. Coordinate type, distance, all like GPS stuff. Fixed latitude. Mm -hmm. You can set a fixed location. 
If we go menu, key definition, let's do key five. Long press. Let's see if we can go do one that shows our G if we've got a GPS lock. Spectrum. NOA weather channels. GPS. That would just be on off. GPS track query. GPS beacon record. Okay, we've done GPS track query. Hold long press five. Invalid, so yeah. You so you can see that if you get the GPS model, you're going to get more at your radio. Bye for now. Seven three. All the best.